Fitra Faisal. Fitra, good day to you. How are you today? Good day, Gus. So, Fitra, now as we know, the emergency public activity restrictions, otherwise known as the PPKM, has been applied for one month now. Will this drive the economy back into negative growth? So, uh, opening up the economy is the function of pandemic. So, uh, if you see the result of, and uh, we run several variants uh, decomposition, decomposition result um, that mentioning COVID um, as the highest threat towards the um, future of economic growth. So, having said this, compared to other economic variables, um, tackling COVID um, is actually uh, the priority. Yeah? So, it's actually a very sequential um, strategy. It's not trade off between the economy and uh, the health sector or, or, or tackling the pandemic. It's, it's about uh, a sequential strategy. So, if we can manage to uh, tackle COVID, we also can push the economy even further. So it's not mutually exclusive between the pandemic and the economic recovery, right? As you mentioned, sequential exactly. strategy, one affects the other. All right. And how would you assess the current ease of restrictions for the economic activities? Because as you know, several shopping malls and several other sectors are starting to operate normal operations even amid these limitations. Yeah, opening up the economy is... Um it depends on the uh, idiosyncratic uh, attributes uh, within every sector of the economy. So um, with, with that in mind, you can say that several sectors can thrive more than the other sectors. Uh, but in order to survive, we need to actually map the various sectors that can also uh, push the other sectors so uh, that they can play as a hub for the other sectors. ICT is playing it now. Uh, how we can see it uh, uh, from the um, series of events, I think it's very, um, uh, you know, energetic and it's very uh, uh, high growth, yeah, experiencing very high growth. And it will be very much functioning as a, a primary hub that a lot of other sectors to uh, also try. So uh, it is a matter of mapping which is which uh, uh, with regard to the, the idiosyncratic attributes uh, the risk attributes. Okay. Mapping and prioritization, that is what should be considered at this very moment. So what should the government do to make sure that the PPKM extension does not harm the economy or even worsen the unemployment rate as well as the poverty rate? So the answer is classic. So you need to make PPKM effective. To do so, the middle low should be buffered by the cash transfer and the industry should be cautioned with the incentives so that they won't scrap employment. Data is the key. Um, uh, we can say that, that data is very dynamic in pension. So you need to keep it updated rigorously. So the uh, government needs to update data in order to make paper time efficient so that we can channel through the cash transfer, we can channel through uh, uh, the uh, incentives to the industry without having inclusion or Error, at very minimum. Okay. Data is the key, so it has to be accurate data, precise and also up-to-date data. Now, can you mention the figures for economic growth, both for the third quarter and the entire 2021 year? So, you need to uh, tangle this to the event in the second quarter. Second quarter performance is indeed a good news uh, as it ends our recession. But the figure is not that surprising since it came from a low base effect in uh, Q2 2020. Technically, technically speaking, what we have in uh, Q2 is not very much surprising and it's very much expected. Q3 is another thing. We might face a huge hindrance given the rigid delta variant. Having this in mind, uh, the figure is very much dependent of, as I said uh, earlier, how we can tackle the pandemic. So the best scenario in the Q3 is 4% at tops. But with the high possibility of downward risk of rating below 3%. All in all, the whole year will be around 3.4% according to our uh, um, uh, recent forecast. Okay. Fitra, several days ago, we mentioned on the show that Indonesia was able to manage to avoid recession. Does this come as a surprise to you or was it expected all along? 
there's a spectrum along because uh, what we uh, see in Q2, as I mentioned before, we compare it uh, with Q2 2020, which is a very low base. So with that, technically speaking, it's not very hard to achieve um, 7% in Q2 2020, uh, 2021. So it's very much expected, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, also, we have the uh, other variables, we have the economic variables such as inflation rate and also the trade surplus, the purchasing manager index, and manufacturing is quite um, uh, ha have a high growth, yeah, in, 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 in the sense that it actually uh, functions as leading indicators for the economic growth. But we need to be aware of the Q3, as we also see the purchasing manager index in July 2021 is uh, now uh, having a very um, a deep contraction until uh, 40 yeah from 53 to 40 so it's, it's very much alarming i must say but uh, as i said before uh, tackling pandemic is a sequential strategy it's not a trade-off with the economy so without um tackling the delta variant we cannot push the economy Okay, so let's go back to the emergency public activity restrictions or PPKM. Now, we know that the first phase of the PPKM, which was applied for three weeks, that has been effective. But what about the extension? Do you think that was necessary? Was it the right step by the government to do so? Yeah, so uh, again, opening up the economy is a function of pandemic. So because the pandemic, uh, some indicators uh, of infection, infection rate is still actually very alarming, so we cannot actually open up the economy just yet. Because if we open up the economy now, yeah, maybe we can have, uh, uh, let see, uh, some sectors in the economy is growing, yeah, but only in the short run, because the threat of pandemic is still launching. So, uh, yeah, uh, this is the best response from the government. Although uh, the key idea is how to make it effective, we cannot have PPKM prolonged uh, until uh, until months because this will actually hamper our uh, prospect of economic growth. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Fitra, for your time and the insights shared here in the three-hour news show. Thank you once again. Stay safe.